Hey, Steve. <laughs> Big 98 points today by the Roadrunners. Were you expecting that headed into today? Well, I th thought this game might have some tempo to it. These guys are pretty good offensively. They don't they don't mind playing fast. So I was hoping we get a lot of possessions in the game. Uh, that was certainly the case, and uh, we had a lot of assists. That was that was the exciting part. And we had some guys make shots. You know, great to see Dope jump up there and make three threes. I think, and uh, the assist numbers was was one of the exciting parts of it. I think uh, guarded. You know, we're making a little progress defensively, and just trying to trying to get better. You know. And, couple stretches there that we weren't very good late in the first half didn't finish it very well um, but there were a lot of positives there too what happened with Keaton that he's wearing the mask today got bumped in the nose yesterday it didn't really I don't think he broke it just had a little swelling on the side um, put the mask on didn't seem to bother him too much he made three or four threes in the first half so uh, told him he may just turn it into Rip Hamilton deal and wear it for a while so but no he was good it not it's not a serious serious thing, just a little swelling on the one side of his nose. Was it important to get his three-point shot going like that, or had it been a couple games since we've seen him hit those? Well, yeah, we've been wanting that for a long time. You know, he, a couple games ago against Corpus Christi, you know, he got to the free throw line and, and walked out feeling good that night, but didn't take many threes. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's such a good shooter and, and uh, got the good looks, got the kind of looks that he needs tonight. So you just need to keep, keep taking some steps, you know, Eric. Uh, Eric didn't score the ball much tonight. Wasn't the best line he's ever had, but again, he continues to give us uh, another very good perimeter defender. And, and uh, if we can keep getting, keep getting catch and shoot threes for Keaton, then he's going to play better. You guys have gone four and one now in the last five games since that 0 and five start. What do you think has been the biggest change in that start to now? Well, we, we're not trying to get too carried away. Mm -hmm. You know, the opponents early on were really, really good. Our next couple of opponents are really, really good. We're just trying to make progress, you know. We had some surprises, you know, early. Some things that weren't as easy for us as we thought they might be. Uh, some struggles in some areas. We're just trying to address those. And, uh, you know, trying to find something to help us develop the identity, develop something that will give us a chance to, to beat really good teams. And uh, I think we've made some progress this week, but uh, it's still still a work in progress. Steve, can you talk a little bit about uh, Javon's play this year? I mean, he's. Every, it seemed like every every night he does something special. Tonight, I think he had like 15 boards. Uh, his overall play uh, this year. Yeah, he's, his habits are getting better. You know, he's obviously such an elite, talented scorer. He's a guy that, from the time he got here, could could uh, go get 30 when the lights came on. You know, but his habits are getting a little better. He's becoming a better practice player every day. Uh, he's starting to help his teammates more, which is which is absolutely huge. We, Called a play for him in a huddle today, and he said, "Let's run it for Knox," and uh, those are good signs for us. So, I guess it's just part of the maturity process. But, but yeah, he's, uh, he's such a quick guy; he chased down you know, long rebounds. And he's had a few big rebound games for us this year. If all our guards can rebound, that'll, that'll help us out dramatically. But uh, I think we're finding some other things for Javon too that are going to help him a little bit. You know, we, we run so many ball screens in our offense. And, trying to get more off-ball screens, get him in space a little bit more. Uh, he's really good curling and using his quickness to get open off a single screen, and, and uh, I think that's helped him a little bit. Are you happy with how the offense is flowing right now, getting Keaton off the ball and things like that, getting Eric involved? Making progress, yeah. Again, again we, we kind of shifted away a little bit from some, all the, some of the ball screens that we've been running, um, and I think that, that helps our guys. We had some other things we worked on all week that we really didn't have to go to tonight. Once we got the lead, a couple things I wanted to look at. I'd like to save them maybe for Wednesday, but we're just trying to get a little more movement away from the ball, more screens off the ball, more more guys handling it. You know, we have good skilled guys. Uh, our big guys can pass it and handle it a little bit. So just trying to get everybody involved more. It seemed like you left the starters in pretty late. You just want to get everybody some run today? Yeah, you know, again, it's Javon, Javon, we weren't worried about him being out there, but, but Keaton, you know, when he was feeling good, we wanted him to, to ride. I thought he had more points than that, to be honest with you. We wanted him to get one more shot. We called one more play for him, and he knocked it down. Um, you know, Eric was out, out there just to run the show for us, even though he's a starter. He was in a little foul trouble, so he didn't play big minutes. But, yeah, I mean, we threw some guys in early, too. You know, some guys have been working really hard in practice, deserved to get out there. So we, we subbed a lot of guys, got everybody a chance, and you know, was pretty pleased with, with what everybody did. Do you have any idea what you what to expect on Wednesday? From Oregon State? Yeah, not, and, and playing in Houston. Yeah, not, not a lot. I saw Oregon State play uh, against Oklahoma 
early in the season. They looked unbelievable in the first half, and then Oklahoma played very well in the second half against them. Uh, familiar with some of their individuals, and uh, we played them several. You know, our first year here, we played them, but they're a much different team at this point. But they've got the Pac-12 preseason player of the year, I think, in, in Trinkle, Tinkle, and uh, we'll have to do a good job on him. He's he can play the three, he can play the four. He's a mismatch, mismatch nightmare. Uh, if he plays the three, he's a huge wing, and if he plays the four, he's just a really, really skilled guy. So. I know that's a concern. They put, they mix mix up their defenses. They got an elite shot blocker in there, so it'll be a great challenge for us. But we'll be excited. You know, our guys will have some fun playing in the NBA arena like that. We need two good days of practice. That's all I know right now. Coach, your, your, your team is shooting a much uh, higher percentage on the threes uh, during the streak. I think you hit a pretty good pretty good percentage. Do you, do you think that's uh, at least part of, do you think at least part of that is due to maybe people just getting used to the longer distance on the shot or, or it, it, being home? That's or certainly, what? yeah, all, all the above. I mean, typically you can have a couple guys that are just noticeably more comfortable at home. Uh, some of those guys, it doesn't matter to them where they're playing. But, but yeah, typically going to shoot a little better at home. The line probably had an impact. But we're just getting better shots. I hope that's the real reason we're getting better shots now. We're running better offense, taking fewer of those hard, contested threes over you know, power forwards, you know, our, our guys can elevate and shoot over, over guards, but we were shooting a lot of hard threes early in the season. We've gotten away from that. Thank you, Steve.